What's up guys? Welcome to Homecraft Cocktails. Cocktails you can make from the comfort of your home. My name is Briss and today we'll be going over the Moscow Mule. The Moscow Mule dates back to 1941 where a woman by the name of Sophie Berezinski lived in Russia and had a father who owned a copper factory. She came up with the original copper mug design that we all know today and made hundreds of these copper mugs to try and sell them. Only thing is she was not a very good salesperson whatsoever. Um, shit wasn't working out, so she ended up moving to America, the land of opportunity, um, and uprooted herself to Hollywood. But even in Hollywood, she was going door to door to try and sell these mugs, and shit was just not working out whatsoever. At the same time, John Martin, who had purchased the Smirnoff Distillery, who sells vodka, and we all know Smirnoff today, um, in the 1940s, vodka was just not very popular. You know, it was more so beer and whiskey, so his sales were pretty diminished as well. And he was good friends with a guy named Jack Morgan, who owned a pub in West Hollywood called the Cock and Bull Pub. Well, John and Jack were at the pub together trying to figure out how they can get their sales numbers up. And then in comes Sophie, who also is trying to get, you know, her, cough, her, her copper mug business up and running as well. So all three put their heads together and spend many hours trying to figure out a way to mesh together the copper mug, vodka, and ginger beer as well. And ultimately, they came up with the drink that we all know and love today, the Moscow Mule. So now that that brief history lesson is over, let's get into actually making the drink. So first, you're gonna fill your coffee, your, I keep saying coffee. You wanna fill your copper mug with ice. You can get a uh, copper mug on Amazon for about $14, or you can get a set of four for about 30. After you have your ice in your copper mug, you then want to fill it with two ounces of vodka. After you have your vodka in your mug, you then want to slice half of a lime to get a half of an ounce of lime juice. After your half of an ounce of lime juice, you want to then top the rest of the mug off with ginger beer. Uh, you do want to specifically use ginger beer. Ginger ale will not work in this uh, scenario as the tastes are very different. After you have your ginger beer in there, you want to just give it a little stir. And then lastly, you want to get a nice little lime wheel here. You want to use that as a garnish. And there you have a Moscow Mule. Now that we have our drink, let's give it a taste. The Moscow Mule is definitely a fan favorite and it's for good reason. You get a nice punch from the vodka, um, the fizziness and spiciness of the, the ginger beer is a great asset to it. And then the just the subtle you know hint of uh, citrus in there as well. Um, so really great drink. Uh, Copper Mug helps keep it cold. And honestly, uh, it's fantastic, you know, Four out of five, I will order this any given day of the week with any given meal. Um, just great drink overall. So thank you guys for watching this week's video and I'll see you next week for the next round.